What is up guys? Archie B here back in another video today. So I've got my camera woman behind. She doesn't look too happy because it's cold. But today I'm showing you around my Mini Cooper S from 2002. It has a wire edge, it's not a wire edge. Um, but yeah, it's a 2002 Mini Cooper S. It's supercharged from factory. Uh, it's running about 260 brake horsepower. It just weighs over a ton, if you have a guess. Uh, I haven't actually had it on Weybridge, but I'm pretty certain with what I've done with it, um, it's not got paid, but it's got stripped interior apart from the carpets. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Hit the like button if you think you're going to enjoy the video, or if you do like the video. Make sure you leave a comment down below what you think I should film next. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is obviously the alloys. These are the things that probably stand out the most. They are looking a little bit tatty. They are the Team Dynamics 3 alloys. Um, they, I didn't put them on the car, however they did come with the car. I know that they are wrapped in ADO8R rubber, um, that's Yokohama. So really good track day rubber. They do tend to get a little bit slidey when they're too hot. Uh, so there you would probably want to go to an R8R. For the conditions that I use them in, the majority of track days I do are around the winter sort of awesome time so i don't have the time in the summer and that is why i picked that tire it's also a great street tire so if you haven't seen already as well i made a video on it previously uh doing the wheel bearing on this side of the car but just to run you over it's also got 330 mil discs from Raylan motorsport and it's got the brembo 330 mil disc four pot caliper setup um which has been on the car i'd say about five years now i didn't put it again i didn't put it on the car um it came with a few little bits and bobs I've done the majority of the engine work to it and a big suspension overhaul and everything like that. So, moving around to the back of the car. Currently just running standard rear discs. That's all you really need for track. Um, you don't want to have that braking balance too heavy. A lot of people put GP rear calipers on them for the R56, but you don't really need to do that. So, boot. This is an orange G-Wing, as you can see. Beautiful in white. This wing was painted by Wrench Studios, Big Up Wrench. Uh, you know, Wrench Source, all that. If you haven't seen who Wrench Studios are, they are a modifying company. Um, they do like tints. They're originally a tint shop, to be fair, but they are literally mad. They got so much source. So, shout out to Wrench. Got their big sticker on my roof. So, shout out Wrench. Moving around to the back in here, uh, obviously stripped out, no rear seats. I've got little rear seat delete. This is from TXD Designs. Um, it's got my show plates on it. It's also got a few detailing bits. Uh, and it's got the emergency boot release in it, which I actually had to retrofit because if you didn't know already, these cars don't usually come with them unless it's a facelift. Obviously, the essentials. This thing runs out of oil like no tomorrow. And for some reason, it's losing a lot of coolant lately as well. So they are the essentials. Right down here with some very dirty exhaust tips. As you can see, I haven't been able to clean the car. Just to run you through, street setup is sports cat 200 cell to a non-res Scorpion exhaust. If I'm going on track, I will take the cat out and the resonator will go in, just quiet it down a little bit up in the higher RPMs. And it will also help the engine flow a lot better um, because obviously if you don't know about engines, the quicker the exhaust gas can escape, the better for the efficiency. So other than that, I've just got a rear wiper delete, pretty standard, most people do it. Um, but I haven't actually touched much to the rear of the car. Uh, that's mainly because not that I plan to crash it, but in terms of track cars, you never know if you have a little bump or whatever. Again, Wrench Studio sticker on the roof. This is like the signature piece. Sorry, it's got some like little bits on there, but it's not really clean at the moment. Moving around, so I'm just going to show you. These are all my stickers. Uh, as many people call me at college, Sticker Boy. That's my old Instagram handle if you really want to go and have a look, but I don't think you'll be able to get on it. ARP head bolts. I'll move on to the engine in a minute. R50 Onions Club. Orange. Shout out Orange, they're all over my car to be honest. TXD Designs and M7 Sport, which did my catch cam. Obviously I'm sat in the passenger seat right now. Uh, I actually can't find the steering wheel for this car, which doesn't help, but I will try and find it and then we can go on a drive once I've got the MOT and everything. Uh, but just to show you around, I've got the JCW Carbon Dash. This was actually bought as, as an investment because these things are going up like wildfire. I paid around £300 for these and I've seen them going for the five piece dash for around £750 now. So this was just an investment. Me and my mum, she hated me for this, but we did the Alcantara. Again, this is getting a little bit rough and everything where people have put their hands on it. Um, so I'll probably eventually peel this off because it's not looking in the greatest shape. Best modified award from 2019 at Brooklyn's from the R50 Fironis Club. Uh, what are we? 
so now moving on, I've also got the JCW hand grip, uh, JCW handbrake cover again. This is going up in price, so again, in a little investment for the car. We've got a cool work short shifter. Uh, it looks like a sequential. I know a lot of people have been like, can you bang gears in it? No, it's not sequential. You've got first, second, third, fourth, fifth. If you want to go in fifth, sixth, and then up and across for reverse. So still feels pretty smooth to be fair. Uh, and then we've got a VI monitor. This just does all my diagnostics. I can log in here. Um, it's quite basic. Uh, it came with the car, but it does what it says on the tin. Uh, so I've got my coolant, intake air temperatures, manifold pressures, obviously you can't see it. Uh, loads, not that important. Throttle, got my spark advances, uh, my O2 sensors and everything. G meter, I rarely use that, but as you can see, 0.65 on acceleration and one G on brake. This was from my last track day actually, so it's interesting to see that's at Snetterton, so yeah, right would have been a lot more. Um, and then you've got economy mode, no one uses economy mode. Moving over here, so we've got another bucket seat for the driver. This is a Corbu Revolution 2 XL, uh, it's full carbon fiber seat. So if I want to take this out, obviously that would drop weight. Moving over, so we've got boost gauge here. If we put the ignition on for you guys, so we've got boost, central cluster as normal. We've got a cutoff switch. This is a battery isolator. So if ever there was a fire or I crashed, instantly turn that off, cuts all the fuel, all the power to the car, so it can be safely extinguished. Uh, we've got oil pressure up there, which doesn't currently work, but I need to put a new sensor in it. That was because I blew that up on the last track day. And we've got oil temperature that's down there. Really helpful, really useful things to know, especially when you're doing cool down laps in the car. I always try and get it back to sort of 60 degrees on oil temperatures. So if we look right over the far here, we've got the AFR gauge. Uh, this is just for my air fuel ratios. Um, and then obviously detachable Sparco steering wheel. Pretty useful, don't really need to be detachable. However, when I've got a big belly after I've had a big meal, it's really useful to get in and out. Standard pedal box. Um, other than that, the car is pretty much the same as a normal Mini inside, um, as you'd expect. It's got the usual headliner. I've changed the LEDs out. Um, but yeah, kind of looks a bit tatty, but it's still really, really good. Um, it's good fun to drive. So that's all it's really here for, is to be fun to drive. So moving on under the bonnet, we have standard radiator, because it does the job. Uh, a lot of the aftermarket ones aren't too great. Down there, covered with a load of leaves, is a air to air to oil intercooler. Sorry, air to oil oil cooler. Um, we've also got well, I've sprayed these bits. We've got a custom air intake box with a Alta air filter in there. We've got a forge header tank, um, but obviously you can't see a lot of things. But underneath it has a big valve head. Uh, it's got four six nine cat cams. It's got tune from thirteen twenty mini. It's got adjustable camshaft pulleys it's or pulley should i say got a reduced supercharged pulley 17 percent reduction uh, it's got an upgraded bypass valve it's got an upgraded throttle body it's also got a ported intake manifold uh bigger intercooler obviously to handle all the heat as i said i've got a catch can in the car the catch can sat back here and it's covered over by a gtt strut brace these are just like a piece of art they look so gorgeous um a lot of people say that they don't do much but they're useful. Uh, I've also got a lower strut brace, which is down at the bottom, obviously. It's an OMP one. Uh, I don't know how much that will work. Uh, a lot of people say that they don't really make a difference, but anything to make a small car flex less is always good. So this is the engine bay. Sorry, it's been a little bit of a quick show around, but I will give you a start up clip. Currently I am running the decat because the last time I drove this car was on track. Obviously that's not for the road, but um, that is the sound of the car. It's really lumpy, obviously with the big cams, um, it's got a really lumpy idle. So hope you enjoy the smell, Rosie as in it absolutely stinks. First of all, I'm going to shout out to my dad. Uh, my dad was here like a lot of the time doing all the wiring things, um, doing a lot of the engine rebuild, helping me get it in just teaching me a lot of things because I never rebuilt an engine before bearing in mind I never even removed an engine from a car 
So I didn't actually know what I was doing. Um, so shout out to him because he did a massive load of it, basically. Uh, shout out to my mother. She put a lot of time and money into this. She let me use her kitchen table to build her engine on, which she was not very impressed with. And of course, all your lovely finances were ends need to be met. And again as well, thank you to Orange. They are a massive part supply. If you don't know who Orange are, I'm sure if you own a Mini, you probably do, but they are literally the UK's biggest, if not the world's biggest part supplier now. They are so big, um, anything you need, just give them a call and they'll be able to sort you out. They've also got an online website that's really good. So don't forget to go check out those. And finally, obviously, huge shout out to Rent Studios. Plugging them again, because these guys, Honestly, if you saw the car without the wrap and then you see the car with the wrap on now, the difference is absolutely insane. So, big shout out to them. That's why I put the stick on the top. Um, I actually need to go down and see them. So, doubt you're watching this, but if you are, I want to come and see you guys again. But like I said, yeah, let me know what you want to see down in the comments below. Might be something to do this, might be something to do with something else. Let me know. I've got plenty of things to film. So, if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.